Hi, my name's Aaron Bergbush. Have you ever wondered why that other guy at the open mic somehow wins the audience? Why not you? Well, I'm going to go to the open mic tonight and somehow, you know, before going up on stage, I always get a lot of crazy thoughts going through my head. And I've tried to make sense of them here. This is what I got. Is it the guy who plays the best guitar who wins the audience at the open mic? Not always. Is it the girl with the prettiest voice? Not necessarily. Why is that? Well, maybe it's not so much what you play, but how you are on stage that makes the difference. So how are we when we go up on stage? Well, I don't know how many shows or open mics you've been at in your life, but I figure there's usually one of these three things going on. Stage one, you know, you're just worried about getting all your notes right, getting all your words right. And, you know, luckily this stage doesn't last very long because eventually you know your songs inside and out. But while all your attention is focused on just trying to get your notes right, you know, doesn't, it's not long before the audience's interest kind of, you know, wanes. Stage two is, is the biggie, though. Is this is where I think a lot of us get stuck, you know. And this is where you go up on stage and, and it's all reflection on you and your worthiness. You know, said another way, part of us doubts that we belong up there. It's like there's the show off, right? He's, he's playing hard. He's like, look at me. I'm so good, right? And there's a little bit of doubt there. Uh, there's the defiant artist. He's like, you better like this or else, right? And and there's the the fearful artist who's looking all around the room He's playing, he's looking around the room, and, and he's like, am I really doing this? He's never looking at the audience. He's looking at his guitar, the mic, never at the audience. And there's the perfectionist who's like, takes forever to get set up. And then he's wincing all the way through his performance. And at the end, he says something like, I'm sorry about that flub I made in the third verse. You know, I'm sorry about that. And, and, and nobody, of course, noticed. All of the attention of the artist is on himself. And it's all an exercise in self-judgment. And all of that self-judgment is totally getting in the way. For the audience, you know, without even realizing why, it's all just, it's just kind of boring. Stage three is the Holy Grail. And this is where, you know, you're not remotely self-conscious. And you're genuinely interested in the people in the audience and how they are. All your attention's on them. And, you know, you're loving your audience. You know, the show is not so much for show. It's, it's for something greater. Something greater is going on. You're sharing something real. And nothing's getting in the way. 